Hello, you're listening to Within Our Nature by Scott Buckley and today I will uh, analyze the artwork Anton Kleisens, Seven Capital Sins, which is a Flemish painter made between, uh, he was, he lived 1536 to 1613. There is a uh, common theme in this kind of art and it is very apparent in this specific artwork that I just discovered. Directly I saw the two, three things I saw that came to my attention and reminded me of how these things are when it comes to alchemy mixed with together with Christianity. This is how alchemy is mixing together with Christianity. You can see the chains, you can see that she is standing with her left foot on a pearl. You can see the Latin text at the top, trying to convey this secret. And this is things that I will talk about. I will also show to you how this has to do with the um, this artwork which is more in uh, uh, what's called world soul something like that um, you can see the chain here also there's a woman there's a chain there is a, a, a ball this is supposed to be the world soul so i will later do a connection to this also but let's begin here Okay. So what the text says is Comfringe eos invirga ferra feria. You have the pearl, as I said. And oh sorry. Um yeah. So the text Konfringe eos invirga ferra means thou shalt break them with a rod and this is indicative of the power involved in the philosopher's stone it is it is um, it is a pearl of uh, rulership as I will show and I have told you that it has to do with in, in my other videos I have told you it has to do with limestone and clay it has to do with limestone and clay and so the this is actually from a psalm this Latin confringe eos in virga ferra thou shalt break them with a rod of iron and Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Again, what are we made of? We are clay. We are made from clay. And if you refine your clay into a pearl, it also gives some kind of power uh, when it comes to others. Uh, as in crushing them like pieces of potter's vessel. And if you read the previous psalm, which is related, I'll just read it. Ask, ask of me and I shall give thee heathen of thine inheritance and the utmost parts of the earth for thy possession. You see, this is again indicative, indicative of the power and if you read Psalm 2.10, the continuation, afterwards it will mention something about the king again. So there is this, this um, authority involved in, in the pearl of, of, the, of the pineal gland. This is actually related to the pineal gland also. It is made from this 
clay material. As I've been saying many times, and how does this relate to this world soul artwork? Well, you can see the shame, you can see how the what this shows is actually how how prima materia which is what it is the substance that creates the philosopher's stone is made from from uh, breast milk the breast milk goes out it contains a mixed a mix of minerala vegetabilia animalia and it has it is made from milk it is calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is clay it is limestone limestone is in the milk and so this is this is why it's this connection again um, so there is a clear rulership involved in the pearl and uh, how you make your pearl in uh, how you make your clay you are you are clay and you make it into a pearl uh, in your in the oyster of your mind and so this is this is why you have this mentioning of the potter's vessel and uh, and the uh, dominance one thing dominating another the chains tied together with it okay that's my analysis see you guys